Okay, we have Chad Green here, and we have Meredith with the first question. Meredith, go right ahead and unmute. Chad, Brian Rucco was uh, mentioning on our broadcast that you've been working on a new breaking huh. pitch. How did that all come about, and how comfortable do you now feel throwing that pitch? Yeah, that goes back to the off season, the first off season. Um, just talking with him, uh, just want to get something with more depth on it, um, something to change the hitter's eye level. Um, and so that's something I worked on in the first off season. Um, was trying to get more comfortable with it in spring training, and then. Um, over this quarantine period, was able to get um, just a lot of reps with it, which was ended up being a good thing. So um, right now it feels good. So um, it's just going to be continuing uh, to get the shape I want, the speed I want, um, just to get as many reps with it as possible. How improved is that pitch from when you first started throwing it? Definitely way more comfortable than when I first started throwing it. Um, completely new grip, something that I'd never um, had messed with in the past. So. Like I said, just getting as many reps in as I can with it, game reps, really, because I can throw as much as I want in the bullpen or um, on a flat ground or stuff like that. But um, until I throw it in a game against hitters, that's when I can really get some good feedback on it. How does that change your arsenal? How does that help you on the mound, adding that pitch? Yeah, I mean, I think it's no secret that I've been tend to be one-dimensional at times, um, just not having a secondary pitch that I trust too much. So it's just being more comfortable, being more versatile, um, getting some easier outs, not having to grind through every inning, um, every at bat. So um, that's kind of the plan moving forward. Take the next question from Ron Blum. Ron, go ahead. Can you hear me, Chad? Yeah. It's, it's really, hey, Ron, just so you know, it's coming through really staticky. We can make it out. But um, just for future reference, there's something okay. going on there. OK, I'll switch tomorrow. Uh, 10 days into this chat, do you have any qualms about the health protocols and everything that you go through, or are you pretty satisfied that uh, safety is as close to 100% as it can be? Yeah, I mean, I, I feel like, I mean, I can't speak for other teams, but I feel like the Yankees have done a great job. I mean, obviously, when we showed up the first time, um, it was everybody had a lot of questions on, on like, what exactly are the protocols, but... Um, since we've been here, it's been great. I mean, I think everybody's getting in a routine of what they have to do each day to make this place as safe as possible. So um, I think the staff and everybody's done a great job. What are your biggest fears about what could go wrong? Um, I think I think it's as long. I mean, it's just you can't control what guys do outside the outside the stadium. Um, so I think it's just going to be everybody doing their part um, when we leave the stadium um, to make sure that this season goes on. Thank you. Yep. Marley Rivera, you have the next question. Go right ahead. Hey, Chad. Thank you so much uh, for giving us a few minutes. Um, was there anything that you learned from your uh, slow start last year in, uh, in 19 that you can apply this season? Or because the season is so different, it really just yeah. doesn't apply this year? Yeah, no. That, I mean, I think I'm going to take that month stretch that I had last year with me for the rest of my career. I mean, I think um, learning from that and what it takes to be – good at this level every day I'm not good great at this level every day because um, obviously you're facing the best players um, here so I mean just being able to put in the work every day knowing what I got to do to compete at this level um, is something that I'm not going to take just this year but something that I can look back on um, when maybe things start unraveling at times because that's going to happen so just being able to learn from that learn because a great relievers um, have such a short-term memory and are able to re put use a reset button pretty much every day so that's something that um, just talking to guys like Britt and, and Otto and um, guys that have kind of been through similar things because um, everybody's kind of struggled at some point so um, just trying to learn from other people as long as taking what I learned from that time and kind of carrying it over into this year. Well what was specifically what you learned from that time Chad if you, if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, I mean, just that every day is a new day and um, that you you can't take past outings with you. And even the good ones, you take it and move on and you have to treat the bad ones just like that as well. And making sure you do put in the work every day and not just take it for granted that it's going to be there every day. And 
um, whether it's mental notes, writing in a journal, stuff like it, it, it could be anything. So, um, yeah, I th I'd say that's that's probably the biggest thing. Thank you. Yep. We'll take a question from Max Goodman from Sports Illustrated. Max, Max, go ahead. Hey, Chad. Thanks for taking a second yep. with us. Uh, we we saw you guys from the bullpen getting some work in today with the yeah. extra innings rule, we'll effectively having some yeah. on second to start the inning. Uh, Adam just had some pretty negative comments about yeah. it. I'm just curious how you feel about that new rule and, and how it was working with it today. I mean, obviously, I'm personally not a fan of it just because um, I don't know who wants to pitch with runner on second, nobody out in an extra inning game. Um, so it's not something that you necessarily look forward to w when you're about to run out there. So um, I think I heard Otto say that he would like the people to earn it when they get on second. I, I kind of echo that. So um, it's it's not something that I necessarily enjoy.